But yeah. I, I think I think also for our listener and and uh, also for a big keen interest of mine, um, ChatGPT is 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 not the the totality of what we're talking about with the AI revolution, right? Um, no, there's many subdisciplines, and and this is part of the for me getting people to start to to identify what artificial intelligence means. Um, is and and I certainly had this sort of comment through my doctoral studies. I was saying, oh, what type? What type of AI are you talking about? And for can, me, can you t- the are there are there categorizations already for those of us who haven't thought of the of category? Has there is has there been an an a, a discernible, um, and this is, I think, the value of, of academians. Academians, you know, yeah. they take the time to sit down and structure things so that you that you have precise language. Is there a precise categorization of the different types of AI? Yeah, and growing all the time. Okay. Um, so, so, and so, there's eight um, different topics, okay. and I'll, I'll make sure that we'll 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 show th- show this um, slide. We'll, we'll put it up friends. on the screen. We'll, yeah. we'll, we'll zoom it in. Yeah. yeah. Um, and and so some of those um, are used independently, but then others like robotics, for example, are used in a blended form. So mm-hmm. so I'll give you a few of those headlines. So okay. f- firstly, there's machine learning um, and language processing. So this is where, again, from the perspective of thinking chat GPT, um, you know, it's it's a form of machine learning, but it's taking natural language and it's and it's making meaning for us. Albeit um, at the moment, its data set it's utilizing is 2021. Um, it's not the latest stuff. So something that happened yesterday won't appear necessarily. And and ChatGPT says that it says, mm-hmm. "Oh, I can't tell you about the current events, but I I'm only up to this." It I actually think that's cute. Uh, whoever programmed that, I think it's totally cute when you ask them. I, I asked that. it recently. You know how this they have. You're, we're all both very familiar with the Standish Chaos Chaos Report yeah. and. Mm. And and the Gartner group and I was I was I haven't seen any I don't know if they still do them but I was I was looking for the latest statistics and I and I put it in there and it said no I only have data until yeah. I think 2019 or something like that so I thought it was yeah 2021 it, yeah yeah, yeah. So. but um other other forms so we've got machine learning uh speech and vision so when okay. you think about machine vision or image recognition yeah. Um, and even things that you'd have in your smartphone, like, you know, from a speech perspective, speech to text or text to speech yeah. type options. So artificial intelligence is part of that sort of concept. Yeah. Um, op- sort of robotics, planning and optimization, uh, expert systems. Um, it, but predominantly AI has a, a growing number of sub-disciplines. And for me, the power that comes it, is the actual um layering of those various modalities and subdisciplines together to form sort of like a like a supreme sort of offering so but, do, but do this- you based on these categories because i guess we're also in different levels of maturity based on on technological advancement um I, i'm i'm sure just like there's I, I think one of the classic models we can use for this i mean we have this industrialization 1.0 2.0 4.0 5.0 i did a, a speech on 5.0 uh, not too long ago um, mm. Can we can we kind of uh, see the foresee the same thing with AI? Well, I think people are debating uh, Ray Kurzweil's predictions that sentience would be here soon. Um, okay. Let's say in the next ten years that we have sentient forms of artificial intelligence. Do you believe that? And we, uh, well, I believe that we may, but we may not know. <laughs> so ah. this is this is where, again, from my doctoral studies, um, a lot of the early investment in artificial intelligence came from military sources. So you know, even think back in World War Two, mm-hmm. um, there were challenges in relation to coding and and um, trying to decrypt some of the the messages that were being passed around the world at that. point point in time. And so that was one of the very first early, early forms of computer that actually helped with starting to shift uh, some of the changes in in that broke the enigma, the enigma code. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And there's been great movies in relation to that makeup. But but so in the early stages, defense put a lot of um, resources into sort of smart technology. They put put a lot of resources into robotics. Um, Again, from the perspective of, you know, military is unfortunately one of those areas where a lot of these thought processes happen. And then they They kind of fund the they kind of fund the rest of us. It's kind of the research and development pool. Yeah, which is, you know, sort of sometimes we just got to 
you know, work out our, our comfort level with all of that. Yeah. 